Auckland's outgoing mayor, Len Brown, leaves office wishing that he'd pushed the government harder on the housing crisis. He says the government could and should be doing more and some initiatives on homelessness are five years too late. He was farewelled today at his final council meeting, ending two terms as the first mayor of a united Auckland following the amalgamation back in 2010. He spoke this afternoon with our Auckland correspondent Todd Nile about the triumphs, the regrets and about giving up the biggest directly elected job in New Zealand politics. I'm certainly ready to go, uh, and um, with a job like this, I mean, you know, two terms there and one is the Mayor of Manukau, um, I've had nine years and that's what I thought in due co in, when I first started out, that's the sort of time frame. There's always things that you want to do, and I've loved this job, uh, but for me and the family, it's absolutely the right time. Your signature project, both when you sought office and during those two terms, was the City Rail Link. Did you believe back in 2010 that the government would, within three years, sign up? I actually wanted them to sign. I believe they'd sign up in a year. So, really? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, here we are. We have a business case that basically shows that, you know, in fact, it still shows the same things that we were going to need it and need it soon. So, you know, I believed in our business case, and I believed that the government had pretty much received the same advice that we did. Um, it was a little surprising that they took the tack they did. So uh, but in the end, I felt that we would resolve the differences and that the facts would speak for themselves. Um, and uh, look, I guess the, the one of the things that I didn't, um, that I underestimated was the impact of Christchurch. And that had on the public finances and I think that really impacted on the government's thinking. And secondly, that, um, you know, that there was a, a degree of um, antagonism to this project in the cabinet, that was more than what I expected. So that was the highlight. It was an incumbency of two halves and the turning point, I guess, being your admission days after re-election in 2013 of that extramarital affair. Mm. Did you give serious thought at that point to resigning? Oh, I mean, at that point in time, uh, things were in a fairly significant personal uproar and, you know, my only thoughts at that time were for my family, for Shannon, the family. And um, the fairly clear direction from them was you stay the distance. You've been elected for um, this period, serve out this time and do what you said you were going to do when you were elected. So at that and point, did you think, all right, I'll do this term out or did you think you could recover sufficiently to run for a third term? Uh, well, I, I think at, at the first instance, it was just a case of um, delivering on the commitment that I made to the people and that is I just put my head down and get on with the job. And, um, you know, and do that and focus on things like, you know, resets of our budgetary situation and getting the CRL formally over the line and all of the stuff that we've been able to do through the second term, which I've been very proud of, and we as a group. So, um, and then it was going to be, look, halfway through the term, we'll see how it looks and see how we feel as a family uh, and see how the people feel uh, and, and make a judgment at that time. So, so what did you make of Phil Goff effectively allowing his interest to be declared publicly before you'd decided? Did he cut the ground from under you? Uh, look, I, um, I mean, at this point in time, there's, there's no benefit or purpose in regurgitating any part of that. Um, you know, we're now in the midst of a mayoral campaign and I don't want anything that I've got to say to be misconstrued at all. Uh, that was part of the politics that I dealt with at that time. Uh, in the end, the decision as to whether or not I would um, want to continue on as the mayor uh, would um, was going to depend primarily on how my family felt about, you know, a continuation of this career. Regrets from the incumbency? <coughs> Absolutely none. You know, obviously personal, but, you know, they'll stay where they are. Um, uh, on the political side, no. When you came in, transport was Auckland's biggest challenge. As you go out, it's housing. Do you feel that you did all that you could on the housing front to put some heat on the government, build more homes more quickly? No, I didn't, actually. And um, look at that, that's a, as to whether or not there's, there are things that I could have done um, more, yes, absolutely. Certainly around the issue of homelessness and I'm really pleased to now see with uh, our uh, pa partnership uh, with the government and with LifeWise and a city mission in the Vanguard of Leadership uh, that we've really got some good projects up and moving now with some serious money coming in behind it. So that's great, it, but it's five years too late. And so I have that regret. I have a 
regret that um, uh, I wish I'd been the Minister of Housing rather than the Mayor in some senses with uh, the ultimate responsibility for dealing with the market case, marketplace in its broadest extent. So I mean, could they have done and should they do more, the government? I think, I think that yeah, absolutely the government could do more. Uh, but this is a government, and, and they made it very clear, the Prime Minister and his ministers, that they won't intervene openly in the marketplace. So previous built previous it, governments it? built and or have worked closely in the building thereof, and this one won't. Now, you know whether that's the right or the wrong thing, um, I'm not going to argue the merits of that. But what I will say is that I've observed governments um, you know, in Singapore, Australia, America, um, in some of the states, um, of those two countries where they are more proactive in working to ensure the possibility of one greater housing, working with the private sector closer uh, and um, you know, either making available state or social housing or um, ensuring the building of rental housing. What's your next job? Well, at this point in time, I'm, the next job is to go on a damn good holiday with my wife and family. So but we're you off. must have thought beyond that. Oh yeah. And, um, Look, I tell you the job that I really would have loved, but I just don't have the money on Michael Bloomberg, is I would love to have set up a city advisory unit, you know, a city lab. Um, Michael Bloomberg does that with um, his staff from his New York City days, and they go and uh, effect, uh, effectively trouble um, shoot in cities around the world who've got problems in transport or all sorts of things. You know. I would love to do that. So, in the Is that a possibility? Well, I'm, I'm certainly going to tap into the global city networks and, um, you know, having run cities now for nine years and won an extraordinary transformation and I think, you know, achieved very good outcomes with it, um, you know, that this is something that I would like to do. But uh, practical realities are uh, that it's very expensive and so um, what I will be doing though is a little bit of consultancy and community work back in my communities. Uh, and uh, a little bit of work around um, the corporate sector, and particularly when you um, start up IT companies. I, I really love that space, and it's, it's the big growing space for the New Zealand economy. Outgoing Auckland Mayor Len Brown talking there to our Auckland correspondent, Todd Niles.